So uh, Flextel Gear have uh, contacted me and they've sent me out the um, Max Repel Mosquito Repellent. Um, I've tried this out in one camp, there wasn't really any mozzies. Uh, I'm in the woods now uh, and there's a lot of flies around uh, and there are a few small insects, sort of midges and that type of thing. So I'm going to give this a try out tonight. Uh, but basically this is the self-powered version of their little micro one that they do. Um, that one has to be plugged into a power bank all the time, uh, whereas this has got its own power bank built within it. Um, it's USB-C chargeable. And also you can put a USB-C to USB-C or a lightning uh, and charge your phone. So you can actually use this to recharge your own electronics as well. Um, basically, a pad goes in here. You can put one in both sides. And there's two power levels on the button on here. Now this will give you a range of 10 meters to 30 meters. So one is designed for sort of being inside your tent. Uh, and the other one is designed for being in the open. That does depend on the weather. Obviously, if it's quite windy, it's going to blow the smell away. But then again, if it's quite windy, you hopefully shouldn't get any midges or mosquitoes around because they won't be able to fly in the wind. Um, but I'm going to get this a, give this a try today. Um, I'm going to hang it inside, well, just on the top of my hammock. Um, basically, to turn it on, you just press the button down here. And it goes green. That is for the 10 meter radi radius, and then you press it again and it's red, and that's for 30 meters, I think it is. Um, how effective that is, I don't know. Um, one of the downsides I do see to this is, and this happened, I put this in my bag, and luckily I checked, and I decided to take it out, and it was on. So there's no sort of safety button on here to switch it off um, and lock it off. So you do have to be a bit wary of that, because these pads obviously heat up, and if that's inside your bag, that could cause a problem. Now, annoyingly, they sent me the um, the Max Repel to to test out, but they didn't send any pads with it. It doesn't come with any pads, which is a bit frustrating, so I've had to buy my own. So essentially, you can get these on um, Amazon or anywhere. I think it's about five pounds, four or five pounds for 20 pads or so, so they're not expensive, but they really stink. So we get the pad out. All I'm going to use this to push the other pad out from its position because that's one I've already used. I've discarded that in my rubbish box uh, and then turn this on, press and hold it. It's on green. That'll start to heat up. It takes about 10 minutes or so and then you start to smell it. You can smell it already but that's probably just the smell of the actual pad itself. But when this heats up it really really starts to kick out the smell. So I had it inside my tent. It's not unpleasant. Depends what you like. Right, it's just hanging up. You can hear it heating up. It's clicking away. So we'll uh, test that out and see um, see how well it works throughout the evening. I don't have the full weights, description, you know, milliamp hour of the battery and the charger to hand. So I will put that on the screen now so you can see the size, dimensions, weight, and also battery power, how long it lasts, etc. Um, I have seen a couple of discrepancies on the length of time that they say it lasts, um, and that the, the battery doesn't last, doesn't last that long. Or maybe it's the pads that don't last as long with the smell, I'm not sure. But I'll test this out now and I'll come back to you later on and tell you my thoughts. So the Flextail Gear Max Repel. Difficult one to say really. Um, I was, when I was setting up here last night, I was pretty much plagued with flies and bits and pieces buzzing around. Um, after hanging this up, I didn't get any. So there's no mosquitoes about, no midges really. There were some little flies buzzing around, but I put this up last night, late evening. Um, and after that, there was nothing. So does it work? Don't know, I'm always a bit skeptical because you can never really tell unless you find yourself in a confined environment where there's loads of mosquitoes and you can have this going. But, you know, it has the pads that everyone else has on the, on the uh, mosquito repellents, so it's obviously handy for camping, it's nice and small, relatively lightweight, but it is a charger as well, so it does have a, a bulky battery inside here, so it's not ultra, ultra light. But if it keeps the uh, midges and mosquitoes at bay, then I'm all for it. So yep, last night it seemed to work. There was no flies around at all. So um, yeah, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this from, uh, if you do want to buy one. 
it does seem pretty good but i will continue to use it and i'll continue to try it out uh, and i will do a longer term review on it as well just to let you guys know how efficient and how well it works